This video is sponsored by Sebimont. Sebimont is 100% safe with thousands of reviews and they have got a 4.7 rating on Trustpilot. They provide mod packages, mod accounts, and account boosts such as many boosts and level boosts. Their prices are super cheap and they currently have a 60% discount going on. So if you want to make a purchase from them, be sure to do it quickly before that discount ends. And also you could get even another 10% off on top of your purchase by using my code GKN and it would really help me out. But now without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another banger. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all a very easy and solo money glitch. Now, as you guys can see from this footage right here, this money glitch is absolutely insane. As you guys can see over here, I'm gonna make millions. If you can literally make hundreds of millions of dollars with this glitch if you want. And you will not get banned with this glitch, guys. So be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video to know how this glitch is done. But basically, guys, I am currently running a giveaway at the moment. And if you want to enter, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then leave a comment saying, Done, you'll automatically be entered into the giveaway, guys. And uh, this giveaway is about an account boost for all platforms, Xbox, PlayStation, and PC, both new gen and old gen. So if you want to win that, have a chance at winning that account boost, be sure to do all the steps. But now without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So guys, this, all the requirements for this glitch, all you're going to be needing is a free vehicle which you do not mind losing, a future shock EC or any other vehicle which you want to duplicate, an Avenger with a vehicle workshop, a facility, and also a CEO office garage. Now that is all the requirements. I know it is a bit much guys, but trust me on this. This glitch is absolutely insane. I am telling you, milk this before Rockstar patches it. You can make hundreds of millions of dollars with this glitch in a super little amount of time. So be sure to do this glitch. But now, without further ado, let's get straight into the steps. So first of all, all you need to do is inside of your facility, get into the vehicle which you want to duplicate, and then press left on the D-pad to enter the Avenger customization screen. Then, you, all you need to do is change one thing on the vehicle, such as the plate, but you can change anything, and then it doesn't matter as long as you change one thing. And then, you need to exit the Avenger like I'm about to do right here. Now, I know, guys, the steps for this glitch look a lot like the old solo method but trust me at the end this is very different you can this is way faster guys you only need to do these steps once and then after that you can you don't need to repeat all these steps all you need to do is basically sell and make hundreds of millions maybe even billions of dollars if you want but basically all you need to do now is exit the adventure and let me just wait for this lonely screen to end so once you're outside of the Avenger, all you need to do is get back inside of the vehicle and then drive it outside. Now, yes, guys, the steps in the beginning are exactly like the old method. But trust me, you need to watch till the end of the video to see how insane this glitch is, guys. But basically, once you're outside, all you need to do is return your personal vehicle to storage, which is the vehicle you're duplicating right now. Basically, just return it and then bring up your phone and call your mechanic. Now, once you call your mechanic, you're going to need to request a free allergy or vehicle, which you do not mind losing, from any garage that is not your facility or your CEO office garage. Keep in mind, it cannot be those two. And also, your facility needs to be full of vehicles. But now, all you need to do is basically just request a free vehicle, which you do not mind losing, such as the allergy, like I'm about to do right here. But keep in mind, your facility needs to be full, and the vehicle should not be from your office garage or your facility garage. <laughs> So now all you need to do guys is drive the vehicle inside of your facility. Now it will give this alert saying facility full, all you need to do is just accept that and then wait for this little loading screen to end. Now once you're outside of that loading screen, it should say um, replace any vehicle, just replace a vehicle which you do not mind losing or don't care about, it does not matter, just don't replace the vehicle which you're duplicating. And after the, you do that, now all you need to do is your, make your way back to your Future Shock Issy or whichever vehicle you wish to duplicate. Keep in mind guys, you should, you should use custom plates for this glitch since it is a dirty dupe. If you do not know how to get custom plates, 
you can watch look at my channel i also have a video posted on that but now all you need to do is just get into the vehicle and then press left d-pad one more time and as you guys can see over here it should spawn you inside of your adventure but this time your vehicle is not there so if your vehicle is not there that means you have done until this part successfully so all you need to do is make your way to this door right here and then wait about 10 to 15 seconds like i'm about to do right here Keep in mind, don't do this instantly, wait about 10 or 15 seconds just to be safe, and then press it once. Your screen should go black and go away like that, and then once you get that screen, you're just gonna wanna walk back here over to the back of the Avenger and just wait AFK until it kicks you out of the Avenger and puts you back inside of your facility. Now guys, so all you need to do, let me just wait AFK until it teleports me. Let me just speed up this part because it might take a while, guys. So if you have done it correctly, it should spawn you at any other facility location on the map, which is not yours. But basically, once you're here, all you need to do is request a CEO buzzard or sparrow, and then make your way over to your maze bank tower. Now, if you also know how to job teleport, you can job teleport with this glitch. But I recommend going over there with a buzzard or a sparrow, just not any personal vehicle. But guys, I'm just going to um, speed up to the part where I get there so it doesn't take up much of the video. So once you're at your um, maze bank tower, all you need to do is bring up your phone and then call your mechanic. Now keep in mind guys, your, facil your um, office garage also needs to be full and has to have at least one allergy. Now all you need to do is request that um, free vehicle or allergy, whatever vehicle you which you do not mind losing. Let me just wait for my allergy to arrive and then once it arrives like it does right here, all you need to do is drive it inside of the garage. So let me just speed up the part to where I drive there. So, okay, let me just drive inside. And if you need to drive it inside of the office garage, which is full, basically the one we requested this allergy from and guys if you did this glitch properly when your vehicle driver is i mean your vehicle is driving inside of the garage it should put you on a black screen and teleport it to your teleport you to your facility that means you have done it correctly guys so let me just wait for that screen basically to appear let's wait for this um little loading screen to end so just as you guys can see over here after this um little vehicle loading screen as you guys can see that little circle on the bottom right and after that it should take make your screen black and it should say initializing or whatever and teleport you to your facility facility like it's about to do to me right here so if this appears guys that means you have done the glitch successfully until here and from now on only the simple step is left and that is basically making as much money as you want off of this glitch so let me just speed up to the part where it, te where it teleports me and bam guys once you're inside of the facility all you need to do is make your way to the vehicle which you have now successfully duplicated and you're gonna want to press right on the d-pad this time not left that's right right on the d-pad as you guys can see over here i have already 21 million dollars in gta by the end of this glitch i can make as much as i want so just press right on the d-pad and then sell the vehicle once you sell it it should put you on a little back black screen and your character should walk away from the vehicle so let me just show you that as you guys can see right here black screen and character walks away and if i look back guys as you guys can see the vehicle is still there so that means you can resell this vehicle as many times as you wish but just look out for the daily sell limit i have as you guys can see from the second time i don't know why it does this but it would only sell for a million dollars um i don't know if that's a glitch with just mine or whatever but you can resell this as many times as you want but just look out for the sell limit guys the daily sell limit be sure to not hit it basically don't sell too much at the same time i just done a, a little glitch over here which i have basically i'm safe from the sell limit i've done a glitch where i don't hit the sell limit if you guys want i can try to make a video about that as well but as you guys can see over here i can sell as many vehicles as you want but if you haven't done that glitch be sure to sell no more than seven vehicles in a 30 hour period like basically so that you don't hit the sale limit and you should be safe as far as you keep following that rule guys 
But now, as you guys can see, I can make as much money as I want. So if you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to be notified for any of my future uploads, be sure to hit that notification bell. And of course, if you didn't enjoy the video, feel free to dislike the video and leave a comment just telling me why. I'll try my best to improve in the future uploads. And also, I know the video quality for this video or this screen footage is very bad. I apologize, guys, for the inconvenience. I'll try to improve it and make it a better, basically, screen display. But now, as always, I'll see you guys in the next upload. Peace!